Hey everybody, Graham Welch here, WE5I. You can look behind me and see that I've cut the lawn completely down on the lowest setting. I uh, haven't scalped it, but just down as far as my mower would take it. And uh, pretty much ready to put in the ground radials under the 4BTV from Hustler. Uh, I've got the uh, DX Engineering radial plate. I've got 16 studs set up on there. I'm going to connect two ground radials per lug into the um, radial plate. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to measure out my radials. Some of them are longer than others. The ones going this way are going to be 45 feet. Um, and I'm going to take two per lug and I'm going to solder them into these lugs. Two wires per. And then attach them to the radial plate down here. Okay. Um, the way these are going to be held down is that there's going to be a ring of uh, bricks. I got some uh, landscaping bricks that'll be right here around the edge, uh, and they're close. They're very close to the ground anyway, because I've got the radial plate all the way down, just almost touching the concrete that I poured for the base here. So these will be connected with these lugs right up to the radial plate. There'll be the landscaping bricks around the edge of the concrete here to keep them right at ground level. And then out maybe uh, on the longer ones, oh, probably 15, 20 feet out, uh, I'll use these uh, lawn pins. These are lawn clips, lawn pins, sod pins, uh, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, they stick right in the ground like so, okay? So what we're gonna do is attach the radials, pull them out and bring them taut and simply just stick them down into the lawn with these pins, just like that. And when the lawn grows back up, they'll virtually disappear, or they'll totally disappear, okay? I do have a few areas where I've got a little bit of a problem in the lawn where uh, at the edge there's some overhanging trees and it's just dirt. Um, I am going to try to plant a little bit of tall fescue grass to come up over the, the radials, but barring that, um, uh, they'll just be right on the surface of the dirt and that'll that'll be fine because it's at the back edge of the lawn and uh, it's really not a problem. I am going to install 32 radials. Um, behind me there is the longest part of the, the backyard. So I will have six 45 foot long radials going behind me here. Um, directly to my left and right and directly towards the camera it's 25 feet to the house and the fence and the fence. So those will be the shortest radials. There will be about six, I guess, that are 25 feet. All the rest that will, uh, will be longer than that. The ones behind me, 45 feet. The ones into the corner of the yard, um, about 35. So pretty substantial radial set, uh, given that I'll have 32 of them, the shortest ones, and it's just a few of them are 25 feet. So more than enough for what I'm doing. This antenna is a four band trap vertical, 10 meters, 15 meters, 20 meters, and 40 meters. But I did get the uh, DX Engineering um, Stroke Hustler uh, resonator kit for 60 meters. So I'm gonna have a, I'm going to have a uh, 60 meters resonator on the top of this antenna. It's and they've designed a um, uh, capacitance hat a pretty involved uh, capacitance hat which I'll show you. I'll show you the the uh, 60 meters resonator kit as a separate video because it's pretty interesting. Uh, the hub and assembly for the capacitance hat and then the resonator on top. But uh, in any case that's that's why the four or the, the uh, 45 foot long radials. So the 45 feet is 0.2 approximately wavelengths at uh, 60 meters. So, and actually I'll have six of those going behind me here to the west, and then over to the side of the yard over here, uh, it's about 30 feet to a fence, and I'm going to go under the fence and out into the front yard, so those will be 45 feet as well. So I'll have about three, four more over there that are 45 feet. So all in all, 10 roughly uh, radials out of the 32 that are 45 feet. So that'll easily accommodate uh, the 60 meters aspect of it. Um, so it should be a pretty, pretty uh, effective 
ground plane system. I don't think there's any question about that. We'll certainly find out. There's no question about that either. We are going to find out. Um, so I'm getting ready to, to uh, get started here. I'm going to do a little soldering. After I have a couple of these attached, I'll restart the video. We'll take a look at what it looks like uh, uh, putting a couple of them down. Okay?